these are my Autoleb classic panniers. I've had them for six months, done 2,000 kilometers with them. This is what I really think. When it comes to quality, I think these are top notch. The straps, stitching, quality of materials, the whole way they put together is superb. Another thing I really like is the fact that they're waterproof and that's important to me because I live in Asia, we get monsoons here and I need to take out these panniers and know wherever I go, whatever time of year, that my things are always going to stay dry on the inside. Quality to me is excellent, it's 10 out of 10. Fixing system is really easy to use, very, very simple. To take them off, that's it. Put them on, that's it again. When I put them on, I always give them a bit of a shake, make sure that they're on properly, it is. The fixing system, how it works, is on the handle, when you pull it up, the hooks there open and close. I don't think you can see that there and that closes over your rack and that's it so in terms of fixing system it really I don't think gets much easier than this there are a couple of things though that uh, I think could be better the first one um, is that all of the bags they come with shims and you fit them here on the on the bag there's the shim the light grey thing here so depending on the size of your rack you might have to put a shim in so it fits properly unfortunately though the shims may not be the right size and in my case they're a little bit too big so I've had to put a bit of tape on the rack to make it big enough and stop it rattling so be aware that the shims yeah they may be a bit too big a bit too small you have to adjust them accordingly um, yeah and the other thing is sometimes when you pick your bag off the floor uh, you've packed your bag you've been at the hotel uh, camping ground you pick it up it's possible to pick it up like this and you can see here the straps actually caught around the hook now if you put that back on to your bike and you think it's, oh that's fine, it's not. It could in theory fall off. So always make sure that the strap, when you pick it up off the floor, isn't like that. It's like that. Otherwise, I do think it's a great fixing system. I like it, it fits most racks as well. It's very versatile. This is the uh, Quick Lock 2 system, and uh, yeah, there's very little to fault, so I'll give it 9 out of 10. This is a 20 litre bag. I think it's got loads of space. Uh, unless you're going on a very big trip, it's likely you're not going to need anything any bigger. Uh, the 35 litre one, it comes up to about this high, a little bit wider, um, but phew, uh, 20 litres, you can get a lot of stuff inside here for sure. Um, one thing I do like about this is, as it is now, it, it's fully secured, fully waterproof, but if, say, um, you need to put some extra things on the top, maybe you're coming towards camp and you need to put in some water, some food, you can undo the top like that, few bits of shopping in and then just secure the bag like that now that's not going to be waterproof admittedly but it does give you a little bit more versatility you can add more into the bag than really it's intended for so if you are looking to uh, just top things up and say maybe you need some extra food for your, for your meal for the night it's quite a useful feature and I like that so for capacity for me 9 out of 10 these are a very practical bag you can get a lot in them but they've got some versatility too because say you want to store something like you've got a jacket and you just want to keep that on the top 
put the strap around there. That's secure, that's going nowhere. So that's a pretty useful feature. And another thing, it has got on the inside some net pockets. Now, I think they're a good idea. Sorry, it's got one net pocket. I think it's a good idea, however, it's actually situated on the inside at the back. Uh, it's so hard to get into. When you've got your things packed into here, I really can't get into that pocket now. It's almost impossible. You have to take things out. It's because when you've got your things packed in, it pushes against everything and onto the back of the rack. I think it'd be better if they had it on this side, but maybe for manufacturing reasons, they can't do that. So yeah, the net pocket inside may be helpful, but uh, gaining access to it when you've got a full bag, that's very difficult. So, okay, it's there, but it, it, it's not the best. The other thing I like about these is the two different carrying systems. The bag I've got here, is designed to carry around like this. But the other bag, are fitted with a strap here. Now, it fits nearly in the same way, but I'll show you how it works. This one, you roll it in the same way, so it rolls like this, but instead of connecting like this, like I have on this bag, this goes into here, this is the strap. Pull this across and then the strap goes into the other side here. Pull this around, turn it up a bit, and that's it. And that's how it fits. What I like about this system, and I use this all the time, is that when you get to wherever you're going, you can just take this off and put that on your shoulder. So with the two bags, you can have this on one sh shoulder, the other bag on the other shoulder. If you've got two front panniers, bags you can carry those as well so I like it I think it's a good system very practical very versatile so for me for these practicality 9 out of 10 when it comes to the cost I think these are very hard to beat they cost around 180 to 200 dollars that puts them in the same kind of price as Thule, Salsa, Arkel you can get name bags between 100 dollars to 300 dollars but I think for value of money, these, they, these really do come out top. You can get cheaper bags than $100. You can get them more expensive than $300, but they're, they're not common. The cheaper bags, I don't think, are going to stand the test of time. These will go on and on for five, ten years. They'll go on for a long time. Value for money, I think they're outstanding. Ten out of ten. Overall, the bag score, 47 out of 50. It's a great score. So there you have it, very easy review for me because I love these bags, I think they're fantastic, they're really well made, they'll stand the test of time, they'll go on and on, and the versatile, you get plenty in them, and you can see why they're just so, so popular amongst people doing touring. I'm going to keep them, I'm going to hang on to them till they explode. Thanks for watching till the end, I'll see you in the next video.